hey guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey if you are new please 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 take one second go down below hit that subscribe button I'm almost at 300k and it would mean the world to me if you showed your support by subscribing I promise I won't disappoint you <laughs> and click that little bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video all right so today we are going to be doing my everyday ish makeup look it's not really an everyday look I don't wear this look every single day but this is the look that you guys see me wear the most often in my videos when I'm like sitting down and talking I always get questions about my makeup look so this is like my standard look to some it's gonna seem like a lot to some it's gonna seem like not enough to me it's perfect so that's all that matters <laughs> so if you're interested to see um, my favorite products at the moment and my go-to everyday ish makeup look then just keep watching okay so the first thing we have to do is prime I have so many primers that I like I kind of switch my primers depending on what my skin is telling me so when my skin is a little bit drier, I'll use a more moisturizing primer, but when my skin feels a little bit more oily, then I'll use a mattifying primer. And sometimes my skin is like in the middle, so when I'm in the middle, then I'll use something that's hydrating, but still kind of mattifying. I've already cleansed and moisturized my skin, so I have like a base of moisture, but the primer just helps to make the makeup go on even smoother. On my in-between days, I typically use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's a moisturizer and a primer all in one. I really like this, I love this for a long time it kind of has a moisturizer consistency but when you apply it it moisturizes and it like smooths your pores at the same time it's literally like a moisturizer and a primer all in one and it smells good too it does have a little bit of fragrance which i'm not really fond of but it works so well so can't complain so along with the vitamin enriched face base bobby brown actually just came out with their new vitamin enriched eye base which is obviously for the eye area sometimes the eye area needs a little bit more moisture than the rest of your face especially if you're putting on your makeup in the morning it could just look kind of dull dried out and i love this because ugh, it just makes my concealer go on so much smoother and it's specifically made for the delicate eye area so don't have to worry about it irritating so next we're gonna get into these brows I typically don't do much to my eyebrows I have a couple brow products that I like typically I'll use either the Mac brow pencil or I'll use the benefit precision no precisely my brow pencil both of them give really nice natural looking brows I'm gonna go in with the benefit one today and I'm literally just going to do like hair like strokes in the front because the front of my brows are like so sparse and this pencil does a really good job at making this pencil does a really good job at making hair like um effects and then i'll just take the other brush side and just fluff it out and then towards the back of the brow is where i'll make it a little bit darker Okay, so I know my brows look crazy right now, but we're gonna clean them up. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Mine is like almost empty, but I use the shade Fawn. I just like to put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. And then I just take this angled brush. This is from Sigma, it's their Line Perfector brush. And I'm going to clean up my brows. I say this all the time, but my brows are definitely cousins. They're not even sisters. They have completely different shapes. So I just kind of gave up on trying to make them perfect. I'm just gonna take my buff and blend brush from Sigma and I'm going to blend out this concealer. All right, so my brows are done now let's get into the skin okay so typically when i'm filming or just like my everyday type of look i don't wear a full coverage foundation if you know me you already know i love this girl 
right here. This is the Kosas uh, Tinted Facial Oil. Now, if you have oily skin or combination skin, do not be alarmed by the word oil. When you shake the product, it definitely feels oily, but when you apply it to your skin and it dries down, I promise it's not oily. I tend to get pretty oily in my T-zone area, so what I like to do is use the Varsali Skin Tune Face Blur just in the places where I get a little bit more oily. So I'll just take a little bit and just put it on like my forehead because this gets oily. I'll put it down like the bridge of my nose and it just really smooths out the pores so that when I put the tinted face oil on top, it doesn't just like run down or get oily throughout the day. And also on my chin, my chin gets so oily. Sometimes too, if I know I'm gonna be outside or if I'm gonna have it on for a long time, I'll actually also take a little bit of the La Mercier um, translucent powder in the darker shade. And as an extra layer of oil protection, I'll take a little bit of this, I'll dab it over top of that Facetune blur. And I feel like this really just kind of sets the Facetune blur in place. And it further protects against oiliness without being like too heavy or too much coverage because you could get the same look with a heavy coverage foundation or a foundation that's meant for like mattifying but I don't really want to go for a really mattifying look so I have to like protect my skin from getting too oily by doing these extra steps which I don't have a problem with <sighs> and as you guys can see like doing those two steps first just really smooths out the skin a little bit more and my pores are gone <laughs> so now i can take my face oil just so you guys can see the consistency it is extremely lightweight i don't want to put too much because you'll see it'll drip down you can actually apply this with your hands so sometimes i'll just go in and like massage it i'll just rub it on first and it gives this like perfect lightweight coverage and then once i apply it first with my hands just to blend it out and make it look even smoother i'll go in with a sponge and i'll kind of just like dab it so that the coverage is a little bit more seamless because sometimes when you use your hands like because it's such a lightweight product it can leave streaks so just going back over it with the sponge helps to really smooth it out and as you guys saw before i put this on i have a lot of hyperpigmentation right now and i really feel like this just it's the perfect amount of coverage for what i need along with the face oil i also love kosas revealer concealer i am in the shade eight and this is one shade lighter than my oil my oil is an 8.2 and i just like to go one shade lighter so it has a brightening effect on my skin i'll just take this under my eye area and then also on my forehead, on my chin, everywhere I want to be brightened. I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender that's very dirty and embarrassing. And I'm going to blend this out. This concealer blends out so easily. I love that it's so creamy. Because I hate when concealers like dry down really fast. And I don't have enough time to just actually blend it in with my foundation. Or in this case, my oil, facial oil. I just love Kosas. Like... Y'all don't even know. And this is how I get from like glow from within look while still preventing oil. Cause you wouldn't even think that I put on a mattifying um, primer or that I put on powder before this because the products just sit on top of it perfectly. And there's like a shield between my skin and the product. Okay, so for every day I don't contour, I just go in with the bronzer also from Kosas. This is their Sun Show bronzer, my favorite bronzer. Ever. and I just take a fluffy powder brush and I just simply use this to warm up my skin so everywhere that I would typically contour I just buff this out and it gives this perfect like glow while also giving me some warmth because when you apply concealer and foundation and everything it can make your skin look kind of flat so bronzer just warms up the skin a little bit for my blush i love this palette from i'm gonna say this wrong i think it's joir jor this is so embarrassing because this is sort of sephora and i'm in the sephora squad but <laughs> This palette is so pretty. It has such a good range of colors. I actually like to mix this orange color with this um, marigold color. And it just gives me the perfect, like, it's like the perfect cheek glow for my skin tone. A little bit of orange tint with some pink. It's so pretty. I 
I totally skipped a step. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do like to set my under eye with a face powder. This is the Flower Powder by Beauty Bakery. It's super lightweight and I just love how it applies to my skin. And I just take the smallest amount on my sponge. This is a dry sponge. And just to prevent the concealer from creasing, I literally just press it right under my eye area and it helps to prevent the because the concealer is very lightweight and it's like a medium coverage so it can crease easily this powder just helps to keep it in place and because i don't put much it's kind of okay that i forgot to do this before i put on my blush and stuff it's just gonna blend right in so before i apply my highlight i'm going to spray my face with the mac prep and prime fix plus i like the rose one just because it smells good and this just helps to just set all those powders and make it look less powdery. <laughs> and it also gives a really good base for the highlight. I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop Loose Highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And I'm gonna use my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. I'm gonna dab it in like so. And then I'll just apply it to the high points of my face. It is just so pretty and i also like to put a little bit on my nose <laughs> now typically for my everyday look i don't wear eyeshadow i actually hate doing eyeshadow <laughs> confessions of a beauty influencer but i do put on mascara and i just want to say i have very long lashes naturally and i always get asked like what lashes am i wearing when i'm not wearing fake lashes but i have four mascaras that i absolutely love that make my real lashes look false i really like the benefit bad gal bang mascara this is the one that i wear in like 98 percent of my videos this is my all-time favorite mascara but i also love the marc jacobs i don't know lifting and volumizing mascara it looks like this and i also love the new climax mascara from nars and I love the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I will definitely link all of these down below, but these are my go-to mascaras. And most of the time, I'm not wearing false lashes in my videos. I'm gonna go in with my favorite, which is the Bad Gal Bang. I'm gonna get up close so y'all can see these are my real lashes. Look at the difference. This is with mascara and this is without. I've been using Bad Gal Bang and she is bae. Huge difference in this lash compared to this lash. And I also like to put it on my bottom lashes. Why can't I apply mascara without opening my mouth? Like, is it just a natural reaction or something? Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll come right back. Okay, so the lashes are done. Sometimes I put on liner on my waterline, but most of the time I don't. So I'm just going to finish up with the lip. Most of the time, I always have on just like a dark lip liner. I'm just sharpening my liner right now. And I always use Chestnut by MAC. This is my Holy Grail dark lip liner. And I'm literally just gonna use this to line my lips. And most of the time, I don't even put on like a lipstick. I just put on my Fenty Gloss Balm. I just feel like the dark lip liner with lipstick, the look is undefeated. Like this is my absolute fave. And that's it. This product in my hair is driving me crazy. So when it comes to makeup, it's very subjective. Some people like to do a lot of steps. Some people don't like doing a lot of steps. Some people don't know anything about makeup, so when they see someone doing a lot of steps, they feel like it's too much. To me, makeup is just an accessory. It's just something that I love to do to enhance my natural features. Sometimes I'll play around with doing like a full face, but most of the time, this is my favorite type of look. This is how I feel the most pretty. Just something simple and that enhances my natural features. It took me years to even master doing my eyebrows. So, you know, things like this take time. And I don't judge anyone one way or the other. If they like a lot of makeup, they like a lot of makeup. If they don't, they don't. To me, it is 
very subjective like I said it depends on the person but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video all the links to the products that I used in this video will be down below for you guys don't forget we're almost at 300k so make sure you go down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys all in the next one bye